as usual and light let's go back to this put this back on ev okay and then what you want to do is add light let's add a sun lamp because we love it okay and then go to the top view and just put it here now if you remember correctly we need to test our tone shader on an object which is a sphere so create the sphere for now Maybe sphere Ooh, no don't be there so turn this back to world origin and then maybe sphere okay take it and the sound lamp into the isolation mode okay maybe not here not here <laughs> let's go to shading workspace okay put this in ev okay and then do this i like this now shades mode let's begin i'm going to call this tone shader okay tone shader uh we have covered the details of the tone shader in the four in level one so i'm not going to go through the whole thing again so first just remove that let's add our lovely oops our lovely diffuse shader okay um what else we want that converter shader to rgb node okay and then what do we want we want what we want the color ramp okay then after getting the color ramp, let's let's see if it's even working. From the view, let's put on constant, and then bring this down. There we go. Look at that. Ah, now nah, look at that. That looks good. Look at that. That looks good. Okay. <laughs> let's continue. So mix RGB color. Mix RGB. Okay. What we wanna do? Ooh, ooh. Okay. I'll calm down. Let's duplicate this. Okay. Um, put this here, put this here. Um, okay, looks good. Now we want something. Oh, wait, wait, what? No, <laughs> add another one and then add this to this. Okay, this should be here too. <laughs> so, yeah, um, um, yeah, <laughs> I got confused there, so this is fine um rgb let's add this to this add uh uh what's the brightness contrast in the is it it should be in color brightness and contrast okay let's add this to this and then let's do this uh add this to this to this and to that no change right hmm. Trust me, fellas, I know what I'm doing. So, let's use blue. I like blue. So, the, the first shade we want should be brighter. So, brighter. Hmm. Maybe, let me just that for now. And then, let's quickly tweak this. Good. Now we can get back to, click on this and press backspace. Now we can get back to tweaking this. So, I want this to be brighter. So, let's use this level right next for now three and this i want you to be maybe this one three this one two maybe add so um i'm back now and yeah let's continue so i i said it already in the previous version i recorded but yeah we're going to let's move on to the outline okay so we're going to repurpose this solidify modifier that we didn't end up using so move this down Use the it has to be at the bottom, okay. Um, apply it and now see, just make it puffy as usual, okay. Once you make it puffy, just um, flip the normals and then you want it to use the second material. I mean, there's no second material, so come to the material, add the outline, and also in the outline, enable back face calling. Boom, what we are, let's make it nice and chunky nice and chunky mm, i like that i like that okay let's continue doing it for every single thing okay now for this mm, why is this let me just join everything together so that it's easier for us so this is this is all one piece okay so i want to add the um, so no shader, the 
green tone shader make it some user and then we are going to take let's start by coloring these yellow parts okay so um okay pick the yellow part okay mm, that looks good okay so add another one take this same yellow one make it another user okay and now we are going to do this blue part okay so take this blue uh, assign and then click pick the blue okay good now we're going to create another one again make a new user maybe just create another one because we are still going to do that so create another one make a new user and let's see one two three four you need a four right a four and then the last should be the outline okay so take this select it up to the third one and assign change the color from this to this why didn't it assign let me assign it again there we go now for this select it assign oops <laughs> select next one assign and then pick the color color green okay and then the last one hmm, so there's one more okay click this pick this and then new user um pick this um assign okay good and then make sure the outline is the last one on the list just use this to rearrange feel me okay so let me just take this make this red mm, i want it to be very red mm, i guess that's how red it can go for the green and the blue i think that's fine oh, for the outline so just add the solidify modifier okay um what does this part look like this come here just so we don't get any issues okay uh okay so just take this solidify make it puffy okay and then normal sleep and then the, the there are how many here one two three one two three four five six so we're going to set this to five there we go and i just reduce it because too much will be too crazy uh, that's what it looks like okay so far so good i like it i really like it here yeah. now for the let's do the glass uh for the glass okay is this glass yeah this is glass so for the glass you want to um pick let's use this green and then change this color to white okay or is it supposed to be glass color to white and then yeah you want to do is mix this with a change this to a gla uh, oops not a glass shader a transparent shader okay or maybe a transparent shader okay and then just find the balance here let me see it does the solidify my fire does, does it okay I'll turn that off for now okay yeah change the enable screen space refraction change this to more and then change this to alpha blend there we go now it's working okay you see it's working okay now i want to change the color of these boolean booleans let them have the same color as the body for now okay for the for the eyes i want them to just have the color of the outline okay and then this color of the outline too okay and you okay you're not supposed to be green you're supposed to be remove the color entirely okay and then I just yeah that's it now that is it look at that look at that now let's make this also the outline color okay so outline and then i don't think we should give it another you know, don't make the outline color okay so maybe just take this make it another user then make it black not too black and then let's see if we can give it an outline let's see i'm not i'm not tried it out but let's see so if i make it puffy okay i think that works no over and then second slot we need to add the add it on um, the outline the second slot okay yeah, and that looks 
Hold on, let's see. Since it's a text, it has its own solidify modifier part. So let's let's see if it will give us a better result. I mean, doesn't look too good. Doesn't look very good, does it? No, that's your good. Yeah, that's your good. Don't do that, fellas. Do not do that. So let's just make it very black. I like that. I like that. Okay. For this, let's change the color to this color. Okay. Why is this acting like this? Come here. Maybe. No. Oh, it's this solidifier that is making it act like that. Let's let's see. Let's change this to the other one color. Yeah, that's much better. It will work. We, <laughs> we just have to cater to the, this process because we are trying our best not to use um, not to use the, um, the not to enter topology mode and start tweaking things. For this one, this particular one, this boolean, click on it, right? No, this one. Select it. And then we are going to give it this outline color and then assign. So now it's black. Do the same thing for this. The bottom ones too. See how, see how good that looks, okay? That looks good. And then, uh, uh, let's see. Let's let's quickly look at our our, our reference so that, you know, we, we get guided. Okay, I'm liking it. Let's go back to that. It doesn't feel like we're cheating. <laughs> we're not cheating. <laughs> okay, um, for the ends, I think they should be the same color as the body. Let's see what it looks like for now. Okay, um, and then maybe let's quickly add the solid, solidifier, modifier. Okay, normal flip and then second material, add the second material, which is the outline. Okay, and now it looks like this. Very nice. Okay, let me control it, apply rotation for everything. Okay, maybe okay, apply rotation for everything. Okay, okay, good. Now for the legs, let's see if this works. Okay, and then add the uh, outline. Okay, and then solidify maybe yeah, opposite direction, flip, and then materials to one. Okay, I think that is looking because these are intersecting. It's it's not giving us the full outline. Ah, there we go. Look at Q little demo. Now for the ground, I'm going to have to sample that from the one I did before. I want to start with our colors. Okay, so take this. Okay, make it a new user and then click this. Good. But then we are going to have to remove. Remove these nodes for the ground and then change this name to ground. Okay, change it to ground. Oops, please, guys, name your stuff. I'm, I'm just <laughs> very lazy, that's why I'm not uh, naming mine very well. Okay, so this I'll change it to grass, grass, sorry. Okay, this is grass. Okay, uh, let's just pick the color. Nice, is that nice? Okay, for the ground, I think I want to remove these two. Okay, maybe not remove, maybe I should just because I don't want the ground grass to have that effect. Let's just take the emission. Mm, emission, yeah, okay. And then let's pick this plugin. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's let's judge and see which is better. This, mm. not this. I think 
OBC is more fine. Okay, and then for the user, we just scale it up. Okay, and then bring it up a little bit so that they are slightly farther away from being. Okay, I think we are looking good. Now, what else? Now, I think I just want to start tweaking the color so that I'm happy with it. Okay, so you guys on your parts too, start tweaking the colors, and then I'll show you. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay. And I'll show you my results. Maybe when I'm coming, let's see. Um, now, for the glass, you're wondering why we didn't add an outline. It's because glass is crazy. It's, it's, it's very, it's very crazy and it's very annoying. So, I just want to satisfy that I can get this fancy, let me see, fancy reflection, you see. Now, glass is very crazy. And I'll show you why. Okay, so let's say you have this already to solidify. Okay, then I add another solidifier. Push this forward. Now it's puffy now. And then you say, okay, we'll flip. Use the second material, and then you add the outline like we normally do. Look at this. Look at this. It loses the power of its transparency. It just does. And that is annoying. So delete it. <laughs> don't use it. That's just that's 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 it. Just don't use it. And I think this is fine. This part is intercepting it to me, but eh, we don't mind it. We don't. I think this looks good. Okay, so guys, um, I'm done recording now, and um, it's a new day, but yeah, I'm done recording, and here's my results. You can see I went a little bit crazy with the alterations. But I'll just give you a quick um rundown of what I did. So let's see what it looks like in that view. Mm. Okay, there you go. There is Bimo. So here's a quick rundown. Uh, let's start with the jacket. So the ja jacket, it was sculpted. I sculpted the jacket and I just, you know, sculpted the jacket around. You know, you can see. Uh, yeah, sculpted. Added the buttons, just fears. You can see they're just fears. Uh, I poly modeled um, the shoes. They are just extruded um, cylinders. <laughs> the feet are not even connected. And then for the water, this is just the cylinder that has been deformed with solidify on it. Uh, and this just um, a skin modifier with um, some edges. And this water was also sculpted. And I just added a plane. The stars are just planes with um, with what with solidify on them. And that's it. So um, this is what I have just after tweaking. Um, if I go through everything I did, the tutorial will be too long and also some of the things I did at the end are a little bit advanced because sculpting is, eh, you know, it takes a little, a little bit to get it. So, but you can just explore, be creative with what you do. You don't have to sculpt, but just be creative. I was just trying to be creative and that's what I ended up with. And yeah, I hope you liked it. So, um, I think this is the end of the tutorial. I'll see you guys in the part three of the course in level three rather of the course. I think we'll be creating a, a little rocket ship or something. And yeah. So, um, if you created something that you'd like to show me, just tag me on Instagram at Caesar underscore the artist and I'll check it out. Um, yeah, I'm glad you guys watched this and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.